Just speaking hypothetically here. Let's say there were such things as artificial limbs, man-made arms and legs that you could use just like the ones you lost. Given the choice, would you want one? Huh. That's an interesting question. Crutches and walking sticks are about the best we can hope for. What, do you want to become a doctor or something? No, nothing like that. I just... Well, I figured it'd be nice if you had something to replace your left arm with. I remember when it first happened, I was willing to endure any pain necessary to get my arm back. But now, there's a younger fighter out there, far more talented than I would be today, even if I had both hands. I'd prefer to devote my time to help him grow, instead of chasing some old dream. I see. Ashley has high hopes for me. I better not disappoint him. You know, you look terribly familiar. Yes, sir. My name is Yoshua Durand. Heavens, I was a student of your father's back in the day. If only I could have done more to help him. I have not come here to chastise you. Please, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I just want to know the truth about who killed my parents and where my sister is. Given the situation back then, it would have had to have been an assassin from the demon world who killed your parents. I see. As for my sister? I have neither seen nor heard of her since the incident. However... What else do you know? This is merely a rumor. But I hear that a Featherfolk girl has been killing important figures all throughout the land. Are you saying it might be Eris who's responsible? There has to be some kind of mistake. Please calm down. It is only a rumor. The murders are a confirmed fact. But as for the killer, who knows? I see. I apologize for confronting you like this. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help.
Are you serious? Of course I am. You think I'm lying? No, I didn't mean that, but... Argosy, the guy we call the Crimson Shield, was heralded as one of the three heroes of the Demonic Wars. He was a brilliant swordsman. He drove the Archfiend back into his own world. So what is the Crimson Shield up to now? I heard he went on a round-the-world training journey after the Demonic Wars. Why a journey? If he was a war hero, then why isn't he helping in the effort against the demons threatening us now? Well, you got a point, but the three heroes aren't exactly spring chickens anymore. Maybe they've decided to let the next generation of heroes take the stage instead. I suppose. Judy, how have you been? Oh, Millie, it's you! You still a good boy? Not causing any trouble for your mother? Of course not. I never get into any trouble. You haven't had anything bad happen to you traveling with these guys, have you? You're welcome back here any time, you know. <laughs> Thank you.
This looks tough. We can't lose this. Thunder Cloud. Focused, everyone! Be careful, everyone! Dragon Slash! Shadow Flare! Don't let up. Be careful, everyone! Dragon Slash! Dragon Thunder Slash! Cloud. We they were take too much damage. In a hurry to die. I hope you're watching, Father! <laughs> Whoa!
This looks bad. I hope we can do this! Dragon Slash! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow Flare! That weak. was way too fast. Too weak. Look out! Come on, let's get moving! Dragon Slash! Thundercloud! Spirit Strike! Huh? Is that it's it? over?
What is this? He doesn't have a tail. He must be from the old race. So the legend was true all along. Is he dead? If he were in cryostasis, he might still be alive, but no, he doesn't have any vital signs. Hey, look at this! What is it, Millie? Looks like there's a feather folk among them. You see the wings? Eris! Huh? Eris! How did you end up like this? <sighs> I've frozen you solid. Hang on, I'm going to save you. Hold it, think a little bit, Yoshua. Her body has no vital signs whatsoever. Even if you got her out of that ice, it's not like you could resurrect her or anything. I know that. I just cannot leave Eris like this. She's my sister. Yoshua, Ronix is right. It'd be best if you just let her rest in peace. If that's what you want to do, I promise I'll do all I can to help Yoshua. Quit it, please! Shut up and move! My life's mission was to save my sister. She was all I had to live for. And now you're telling me just to leave Eris like this, my own flesh and blood. Well... You can go to hell! I'm gonna save my sister, and I'll sacrifice everything I've got to do it! Wait, Yoshua! Eris! She's... She's me! My brother, I am Eris. <sighs> when the Crimson Shield took me away, one of his symbologist cronies brainwashed me and trained me as an assassin. I followed their orders to the letter. And I've caused the deaths of so many innocent people. I was seriously injured after botching the killing of a certain well-known symbologist. They left me on the street to die. That was when my repressed memories finally came back. I struggled terribly with the pain and the guilt of my crimes. I swore to myself that someday, I would have my revenge against the Crimson Shield. It was the very symbologist I was sent to kill, who retrieved me from Death's door. By the time I recovered, I was faced with a difficult problem. If I remained a Featherfolk, I was in danger of being found and arrested. Are you right on that count? Many people witnessed a Featherfolk girl at the scene of the murders. Some of the rumors we heard identified you as Deathwing. The symbologist who nursed me back to health gave me a vital piece of information. He told me of a relic from the old race that allows you to transfer yourself into other bodies. That's what this is? Yes. I discarded my original self here, and transferred myself into an old race body. Eris! But then I learned another shocking fact. The Crimson Shield was just as much a victim as I was, that he lost his sanity because of the Mirror of Incarnation. Indeed. The Crimson Shield I knew was a righteous man, one who fought for the rights of all people. Yoshua, I have made up my mind. I'm going to return to my original body and pay for my crimes. It's not right for me to try to escape my past just for the sake of revenge. That's right, Eris. You can't move on towards the future if you simply abandon your past. Eris, I'm so happy to see you again. Me 
too, my brother. Eris, let me help you overcome your past. I won't let you carry the burden by yourself. Thank you. This is wonderful, Yoshua! And Eris, too! I'm so happy for the both of you! Millie, listen. I know I've been kind of distant in the past, but let's try to be friends now, okay? I think I'd like to get to know you better, is what I'm trying to say. Sure thing, Eris. <laughs> Just don't regret it. Absolutely! Well, let's get going. We still have a lot to do.